Hello there YouTubers, it's been a long time since I've done any space videos and it's me, SuperDavo001, and I'm here to show you this software called Registax. What does it do? It allows you to stack and sharpen photos. The first thing I'll need is a photo. Now where am I going to find one of them? In the sun, in the subs, let's go for this one. I've already, I've already stacked these for the record, I've already done them and made them look pretty awesome. But, yeah, so I'll, I'm going to open all these. I've got a hundred got a hundred photos here a hundred frames all pretty much the same as each other now the first thing you go to do is you're gonna try to find want to try to find your best one for this photo it doesn't make much difference but yeah find your best one and then set align points hopefully now it'll set some align points for me if it doesn't you can manually add some by clicking and right clicking will remove them so I'm going to set mine to a hundred you can set it to whatever you want to and I'm just going to set up the limit system as well which basically means I've got a hundred here and the the, lo the less I have the less disturbance the ones that, I, that it keeps will have because it will only keep the best ones for now I'm going to keep 80 if you're working with any more zoom than this you're going to want to keep more like a third of the photos because so what's going to happen is these photos are going to be stacked one on top of the other on top of the other on top of the other to reduce any little noise inside them once it's done that it can then use certain complicated stuff to sharpen them so yeah that's what it does so you're going to want to align them next now this shouldn't take me too long because my computer's fast out and I haven't got that many frames but you know, not everyone's that lucky. I mean, when when I work my DMK camera, I work I usually take ten thousand frames and stack two thousand, so it takes a little bit longer. But you do need to stack more with the CCDs because they're noisier. So now I'm going to limit them, which puts it down to the eighty, which I've already selected there. Could have the highest quality frames. So any frame that has a quality that it ranks at above eighty percent, I believe it'll keep. So yeah, best I'm gonna mine the best eighty frames. So I'm gonna limit it. It only takes two seconds. And now it brings me to this screen. Interesting. Now this is the stacking screen. This is where you'll stack the photo the frames together to make one really low noise image. Can I zoom in? Right? No, I can't. Can't really see any noise because it's a low noise DSLR, but. Yeah, so. Pretty much keep these as they are here. I'm not really sure what all these changes do, but. You know. So. Now I'm going to stack. Now this might take a while, so I'm going to pause it while it stacks. So I will see you in a minute. So now it's pretty much finished. There we go, 100%. And now I'm left with this. So if I go onto the Wavelet tab, then I'm greeted with this beauty. If I look at it zoomed in, in that little window there, I should know that, pressing the wrong button, you can see that there's pretty much no noise. Can't see any little mistakes in it, so. Yeah, so now we're onto the Wavelet the wavelet works so if you click anywhere click where you click where the main thing you want to look at is before you do it because once you start doing it it always selects a certain area so now if I if I drag this slider to the right it considerably sharpens some of the image now you can see it's in six sections not just one the first one is for the sharpest smallest details and the last one sharpens up the coarsest so you can see see the different parts that get stacked there as I do that. So if I just put them back to normal, now it comes the task of deciding what to do. Now I would usually say wavelet them a lot, not necessarily fully for all of them, not like this, but quite a bit. 
I'd say give it some considerable wavelet in. I might just reduce it a little. So if I if I view it zoomed, you can actually begin to see either solar granulation or noise. I believe it's the first one. If I look carefully enough. Yeah, that's what the shot looks like at the moment. If I look towards the edge, things look a bit ugly, but I can pretty much fix that. Yeah, there you have it, that's that done. So now I have an image that's fully waveleted. So, there we go. So now what you need to do is you need to do all. When you do all, it, bas it basically means instead of filling in that little box, it fills in the whole image. It wavelets everything. You'll see it do it in a minute. Shouldn't take too long for it to do this. It's already 30% done, but it is pretty important. So, yep, that's one bit done. Careful not to touch this bit of the screen, because otherwise you'll undo the doing all. That happened to me on a previous attempt at recording this video, I will tell you. It was actually quite funny. So there's that. And another one. And done. Obviously, there is something wrong if I just view zoomed down there, but... Hey how? What can you do? Actually, when I look at it more, it looks like noise. That stuff. So yeah, now if I if I go to save image, I'll save it in here. I'm saving it as a TIFF in this case because it's high quality, but you don't have to. So I'm going to save it as YT Sun YouTube Sun save. And now I'm going to go on to edit it in Photoshop. Um. Open with Adobe Photoshop CS6. There. Now if I just move it down a bit so I can actually operate the thing with Bobs. Sorry about having to move it, but hey ho, what can I do? If I just zoom in, you can clearly see that here's the photo. What the heck? Where's it gone? <laughs> oh my gosh. Maybe I'll have to stop messing about now. So first things first, I'm going to go to the rectangular selection tool. I believe that's its name. If it's not, then it doesn't really matter. It's just a name. I'm going to select that rough area. Just center it up a bit. And image crop. Now I'm left with the smaller sun. And now that I've got that, I can begin getting to work. So what I'm going to do, first things first, image adjustments, levels. I'm going to adjust the dark end of levels. Down to about there. That should make the black areas completely black. I'll make this area subtly lighter. I'll make this one about there. I'd say that'll look nice. So in image adjustments, uh, do I really need to bother with curves? I'll just see what I need to do. So that increases, that decreases. That bit's for the highlights. In the middles, the midtones, there's the darkness. Hopefully not to use curves if you don't then. You know, you don't. Now I'm going to also image adjustments, brightness slash contrast. I really need to increase the contrast a little. There we go. And then I'm going to go to image adjustments hue saturation, which will it basically makes it more colourful if you saturate it. If you do that, it goes black and white. If you do that, it goes well colourful. I don't think I can actually increase the saturation very much though. I think it's already about saturated as it gets. So yeah, that's looking nice. Looking nicer than where I started. Might just do a reduced noise filter as well. Not sure if I really need to use the remove JPEG artifact feature. I have to make the noise reducer preserve more details. 
perhaps even sharpen details uh, I think that'll do noise reduction it might take a couple of seconds and voila it's actually been quite well noise reduced hold on a second you know what I think it's better with the noise so yeah that should be the final image so yeah thanks everybody for watching this video and good luck using Registax on your own in your future in the future I'll just show you I might show you a photo or two that well okay, I have no idea why I was doing that but I'll show I might show you a photo or two that I've taken myself using Registax and until next time goodbye